What's going on, people? Good evening to the folks of the internet. Good evening to the hungry people who want to start businesses. In this live stream, we're going to talk about the real way to grow a company and have high impact. B-School for Hustlers is on deck. I'm excited to bring this news to you because I've been working all day. I just get out the shower because putting all of this stuff where it needs to be is a challenge. It really is a challenge. So that's all right, man. That's that. Gotta take care of your tire, man. I think that's a recap back there, too. All right. Don't know why that happened. But let's kind of get into what I did today, boys and girls. <coughs> I am really getting into this training. All right, so let's go to, uh, let me flip it. Let's go to B-School for Hustlers. All right. So this is what I got going on. And I've actually separated the art of holding in business classes into one different bundle, which currently is higher than the Christmas special of the digital education, where you get everything that was that's on the, the website. Plus, I got a few more goodies. So let's go into here. And business classes they haven't started yet but that's coming and i'm going to talk about that in a minute but look at what went down with the strategic holding company this is the new art of holding all right so we've got that i'm not a lawyer i'm better we got that we got that all this was done today I mean, there is a lot to this. This is not something you're going to go through in the weekend. This is going to take a few weeks to get through all of this. But that's, hey, like I said. And I'm going to add a little bit more. So that's currently what's here. So we got all of this great training and that's the bundle, but that is part of digital education because, you know, essentially I made the price because I knew that I would be adding the art of holding to this site and that was 1600 bucks at Hustlers Kung Fu. And I want to add way more because I, I mean, this is going to be good. This is going to be so good. Your, your holding company and your operating companies are going to be so tight. And the business classes, which have not started, because there's nothing there yet, will be teaching you how to run a business. So I, I've separated that. That price is going to change. But I'm very, very excited because this is the week that I'm working on company stuff. You know, I, I, this whole week is on the calendar to get this done, to get the business classes mapped out, to get all of this stuff set up for you guys, because I've made a command decision. I'm going to do a course, how to start a service business. And I was going to put it at Hustlers Kung Fu, but it just makes sense to put it at B school for hustlers. That just makes sense. So that's where I'm going to put it. But I want to talk to you about how to grow a company because one of the reasons that you'll take these online courses is they're an extension of a platform. If you're going to take a course for Facebook ads, you got to go over to Facebook. If you're going to take a course for YouTube, you got to go over to YouTube. You're going to take a course for Amazon FBA, you got to go over to Amazon FBA. 
we're going to get into how to build a business from scratch, which is harder, but it's not easily duplicated like a lot of these business models that folks have going out here. Um, Cause you know, let's go ahead and take Frankie's Depot, which was the corporate name of the storage auction business. Cause we had the upscale garage sale, which was an event that was attached to Frankie's Depot. And it was just on weekends. So we didn't really go ahead and form a corporation for that. We just attached it to Frankie's Depot. And I wonder, let me go to secretary of state. Cause I got my, my camera here. So it's kind of in the way. Here we go. I wonder. Let's see. Nope. Doesn't come up. Let's see. Cause it's been a long time, so it may be, um, not part of this. Nope. Ain't nothing in there. It ain't in there no more, but I want to teach you guys how to start a company from scratch. That's not attached to a platform. And why is that important? You know, the, the biggest rage around here is to go ahead and take an Amazon FBA course, go to Alibaba, get this super um, cheap program and ball out. But that's becoming very, very hard. Alex Becker had a very good video. Check out his latest video talking about why this is the case, because this is some stuff I predicted, because here's what happened. He used to be able, because Amazon FBA was quite challenging. So by the time you went in and there, you could literally start Amazon FBA back in the day with 500 bucks and scale your way up to six figures in a year. Why? Less competition. Just wasn't as many people doing it. A lot of folks didn't know you could do it. Amazon FBA program has been out a while. And what these courses have done, more so... Then um, Chris, the guy who as an advocate at Amazon, is they've drastically increased competition. So this widget that you could have got off of Alibaba for a buck fifty for you know a piece, so you can get like a hundred for a hundred dollars and go to Amazon and flip that item for fifteen to twenty bucks, that item went up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. Same item because of the increase in competition. And a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people just don't get what's going on with these um, platform-based situations. So what I want you guys to do, because you know we're, we're gonna talk about this in business class, because you know the day was get everything off of Hustlers Kung Fu and get that into B-School for Hustlers, clean it up where it makes sense, see where I need to add information. And then tomorrow I'm gonna start writing up the classes for B-School, you know, business class. Because here's the thing, regardless of your business is online or offline, you need customers. How does one get customers? That's the, the juice. That's the that's what grows your business, your ability to get customers. And a lot of you know courses don't really talk about getting customers. They'll talk about, you know, going to Facebook, buying Facebook ads or Google ads. And that's a skill set unto itself. Learning how to run ads. And I will be doing a course on Google AdWords courses into 2020, which will be part of the B-School. 
is it's a skill set. And here's the thing. You're going to have to spend some money to learn. You can't play the ad game without spending money. And like I've already got an account set up for my Google ads. I'm probably going to deploy some the day after Christmas. And you, you may or may not see them because I'm not going to put a lot of money on them. But we're going to talk about marketing and customer acquisition. That's going to be part of the business class. That's going to be part of many of the conversations that we're going to have because that's where it all starts. And we're going to drop ship it where you don't have any inventory cost. So all your costs are marketing costs or paying influencers. And you know, that's can be pretty expensive because an influencer that has a highly engaged audience that you could pay like $150 for a sponsored post. If that $150 turns into three to ten thousand dollars that's good money spent but you know once again you've got to figure out who's a good influencer to approach and all this other stuff so that's where we're gonna we're gonna do the hard work first what what oh man that that called up to me What's up, Kevin? You was over at Disruptive Mail. I, I got some special plans for Disruptive Mail. I got some killer stuff that's coming up for that. Justin Williams. Way hey, what's up? I'm working for the state of Ohio as a healthcare independent provider, but they will only pay using my social security number. Any advice? Well, that's the only way they can pay you because you don't have a corporation with an EIN. They can't pay your corporation. You just have to form a corporation and have them remit that money to your corporation. See, this is one of the things. A lot of people will not put together an LLC because they're afraid of it. They don't know how it works. They're scared of it. But I'm going to tell you a story of my boy, Scott Forte. Scott and I used to work at Northside Hospital. And Scott was a surgical tech. Scott was a really cool, uh, charismatic guy. Everyone liked him. And the doctors loved him. So one of these doctors was like, hey, how much would you charge to work with me on these cases? And Scott was like, he went, you know, Scott went and did a little research and he's like, 35 bucks an hour. The doctor was like, cool. And Scott was like, what? Because Scott was only getting like 20 bucks an hour. So that was like a $15 bump. And, you know, he started working for this doctor exclusively, made way more money. And then he had to form because he was forced because he was like, the doctor was like, well, you know, do you have a company? And he's like, Scott, no, I don't. So the doctor hooked him up with an attorney. The attorney created a, temp, a staffing agency and Scott started hiring people. And it literally, because we used to live on the same road in Marietta, Franklin Road, which now is the hood. And we used to live right next to each other. And at the time, Scott was making so much loot Scott was able to move into a $185,000 house. This was 93. That's pretty much 93. Man, that was, that was a long time ago. 2003. Man. That was before I even got in the storage auction business. That house would be worth half a million dollars right now. So he was, um, he was born in 88. All right, dude. So he, he, and I just saw how fast Scott's economic life just changed. And that instilled in me because he, he here's the thing. He was doing the same thing 
that he was doing for Northside Hospital, but he was just doing it for himself. He did not go out and get a new skill set. He just packaged his skill set into a more profitable, because, you know, Northside Hospital was making money off of him. So he just, they started the staffing agency and he was doing some stuff. He had some other people. I think they got up to 15 surgical techs and they were fully booked. And Scott got himself a better, a partner because, you know, this was, I mean, it, it just moved so quick and he needed help. So he brought someone on as a partner. But I think Scott, if I remember correctly, was doing $250,000 a year in 1993. So, I wonder, that was 26 years ago. That's almost a 30-year mortgage, right? So, that is one of the things I witnessed. Someone I knew went through the business formation process and literally changed their life in a matter of months, really. Because I remember I went over to his apartment and he was like, yeah, we just bought a house. And this was maybe eight months in. That's how much his economic fortunes changed by starting a company. And I want each and every one of you to have that transformation. But part of the issue, and I'm about to dig up in y'all. You know, some of y'all ain't going to like this. Is foolish expectations. You making thirty thousand dollars a year, and you gonna come on the internet and uh, deploy a course, and all of a sudden you're gonna be making a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. Five. It ain't gonna happen for the vast majority of the people. There are rare exceptions. There are unicorns, like there are lottery winners, like there are NFL draft picks. Some people will get that golden ticket, but most people are looking at a three to ten year journey. Let me say this again. You're looking at a three to 10 year journey. I'm not going to lie to you and say, now, once I do the how to start a service business course, that's going to be some quick money. That will be quick money um, once I get that rolling. But, you know, regular businesses... Uh, Lena Lattimore, thank you. Never heard of it. Well, once again, Edmar Estella. All right, let me just put this right where I want it. Stop looking at what's happening in India. L let me go ahead and tell you. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people who are like, well, you know, it's just a, a marketing ploy to say we're going to have a recession. We have several economic sectors of the economy already in depression. Retail is one of them. Trucking is starting another one. Um, don't look at the market. Look at what you bring to the market. There could be someone who could start a hot dog stand in New York tomorrow, but they got these delicious hot dogs. They got a great messaging. They got a great marketing, and they can blow up. And there's already hot dog stands all over New York City. So once again, stop looking at the market and start looking at what you can bring to the market. Because, you know, uh, a lot of people come to me and it's like, can you still make money in storage auctions? Absolutely. But do you have what it takes to do it? Because everybody's looking for the undiscovered, untapped raw market that was what i walked into when i was in the storage auction business in 2000 it was raw it was untapped most of the participants didn't know about ebay i remember you know the you know the first free thing i got off craigslist my gmail account I don't know if you remember this. When Gmail came out, you just couldn't go and sign up. Someone had to send you an invitation. 
and Craigslist was full of all these techies, and I was in the free section, and this guy was like, hey, I'm giving out Google invites to Gmail. I emailed him, he sent me an invite. And then I sent myself invites to open up my first Gmail accounts. That's how I got my first Gmail account. And a lot of people didn't know about Craigslist, they didn't know about eBay, and I went in there with all that knowledge, and I was able to exploit and ramp up to a higher level of income which gave me a higher level of spend to become a force to be reckoned with. So stop looking for untapped, easy money markets. You know, if you can luck up on a situation like that, God bless you. But the reality is go into it knowing that you're going to have to deploy your hustler's kung fu. You're going to have to fight. You're going to have to dig. You're going to have to grind. Go into it with that mindset, and you're going to be better off than, well, man, I'm looking for some easy money. Damn. Ain't nothing left. Storage auctions on TV. I can't go get that easy money. Everybody know about it. Prepare yourself to work. Kevin Brown, I've been helping the relatives try to get out of depression about the power of subconscious mind, letting them read it before I do. That's an amazing book because once people understand how that works, you're just going to stop doing certain things. Amanda P., can the startup hustle turn into a holding company? Absolutely. Polandris O8 just made some Postmates money. Hustle on, hustle on. Because, you know, tomorrow, because like I started this at 7 o'clock this morning and I just finished getting all of that put where it needs to be put. And tomorrow is a planning day where I'm going to sit down and write out topics for these business classes and write up the curriculum for how to start a service company and what is a service company because i've been saying it for years if you don't know what you want to do when you grow up start a service company it is one of the quickest ways to drastically increasing your cash flow let's say you're you're part of the 75 million people in america that make thirty three thousand dollars or less per year and what you just you mentally say I'm giving up my weekends. I'm giving up my chill time. I'm about to be productive. I'm about to be busy. And you go ahead and you start yourself a service business that takes up your weekends. Like if someone's having a birthday party, go to the birthday party. Someone's having a wedding, go to the wedding. But if it ain't something like, oh, you know, a, like a once in a lifetime event or something very important, you at work. And you're making $33,000 per year. And I got, I, got, I got my other phone up here. And let's say, let's go ahead and do the math. 33,000 divided by 12. So that's a gross of 2750 before taxes. We're just going to minus 500. All right. So that leaves you 2250 to do everything you're doing with. You start a service business and give up your weekends. You can make an additional $2,000. So what will this do? This will put more money in your pocket. And it will give you tax deductions for your W-2 income you get you get a refund check back and you make it more money how about that and it would literally double your income it would literally double your take-home income Aaron V, five months, 50 G's 
plus in revenue. I recall a live you had about taking action five months ago. That's all it takes is action. Arden V, that's exactly it. That's it. But see, many people are sit in the in the mental situation that someone's going to hand them something. That's the big problem. Kevin Bryan, I was doing Postmates tonight too. Saw your story about picking up furniture to flip after a long day of hustling. Said no more days off. I got bills. Weekends are for hustling. Hey, th this is the situation because uh, we're going to start a new collective, a new mindset, a new way of doing stuff. Because once again, once you, as Ar Arden V says, take action, your life changes. Your whole life changes. You go ahead and you begin to build something durable. The problem is that so many people are looking for the easy thing. Like, I remember, I remember this with great humor that people would email me, hey, Glendon, what do you got? I need to make five, $6,000 per month. I don't really want to work that hard. During the storage auction days, people used to send me that email at least 10 times a week. You know, I need to make five. They weren't making five or six thousand dollars from their current endeavors. And one of the things we're going to talk about is the mental grooming that you as a person undergoes to become a business owner. There is a mental transformation that a lot of people don't talk about. Black Caesar, which course is going to contain the techniques how to lease or rent vehicles to other assets through the company? That will be the strategic holding company. Because like I said, today was just moving what was already done. And I got to look at it and I'm going to add some more stuff to it. So that's where that's is going to be. Make a decision, a new mindset. Absolutely. Because here is the thing. I want you guys to listen to me. Right now, we're in a war of ideals, a war of culture, and the political war. Like, I made a comment today that the only reason Trump's in office is dumbass white people put him there. And that be a fact, and a lot of people got offended. But the fact is, this guy broke the law, these articles for impeachment are valid, but because of politics and partisanism, the Senate, like, we refuse to look at the evidence. We don't think it was, it was, it, he did something wrong, but we don't think it's enough to remove him. If that was a Democrat that did the exact same thing, they'd be like, hang him. Uh, let's see. What's the latest on the real estate research for investment? Will you do a compilation course on different strategies? Byron, the real estate courses will happen after I get into the real estate game. Only thing I have is a real estate holding company. So until I actually get in the game, I'm not going to create any materials about the game. Grant Barnes, I don't know if people are looking for the easy things so much as needing to know beforehand without a doubt that whatever they do would lead to high. You're looking for guarantees. Grant Barnes, can you guarantee me you're going to work 80 hours a week hard as you can? Can you guarantee me that? There ain't no guarantees. This is why I don't make guarantees for these crazy claims because I saw this with my own two eyes when I did 30 days to 2,500, I saw a group of people take off. Had one guy, he was doing 20,000 a month. After he went through the course, he got to 100K a month. And I had people failing. So, you know, I mean, people want these guarantees because they scared. 
they want these guarantees because they punks. They ain't no guarantees in life. And that's a great thing. If there were guarantees, that mean there would be limitations. There are no limitations. There are no guarantees. There ain't no sane, sensible reason that I made 1.5 million selling a, a book. That, that ain't normal. If there was a guarantee that if I wrote that book, I was going to sell like 5,000, make 5,000 a month, and that was the limit. Ain't no guarantees, and that's a good thing because there are no limits. Guarantees and safety nets and all this other stuff create low expectations. Uh, what's the difference between a holding company and an LLC, the way you deploy and use the company? Grant, so there's no small aspect of luck, even though you hate the word D D. There ain't no luck. When you put in work, you get results. Many people said, I got lucky with my storage auction book. Did luck go on the storage auction trail and get that information? No. Did luck sit at my computer and write that book? Nope. Did luck deploy these YouTube videos? Nope. There was no luck involved. That's why I hate that word, because people are looking for, you know, hope, some majestical, mythical force that's going to come down and bless them with some hustle dust. Once again, like, you know, um, you know, this is the holiday season. I just decided I'm not really doing anything for Christmas. I'm going to work. I'm going to create these courses. I'm going to create this education. And every day I get up, I come in here, and I go to work. And because I go to work, I get results. Stop looking for passes. Stop looking for luck. Stop looking for the eat. Just Start thinking in terms of a few weeks. Stop thinking of a few weeks or a few months and start thinking of, I start today, where will I be this time next year? Because see, this is something else that a lot of people have, ridiculously compressed timelines. Like, well, I start, you know, in January, February, I should be making 100 grand. Foolishness. Art Austin, gee, I bought many courses from you over the years. All the game paid off. Got asked to consult on the upstart entertainment business because of the art of holding game. I made 2000 hustle hard. See? Knowledge. Once you know this stuff, you can teach it to other people. Honey Bunny, the only thing guaranteed in, death in life is death. Congratulations, Art. Amanda P, that's pretty sad. What are your views about a mom getting the holding company for my teen boys? Because I may not know if I would see them get older. Are you ill? Hopefully you're not. Um, setting that up for your children and setting up a business is one of the greatest gifts as a parent you can give to your children. Kevin Brown, yep, scared to fail, scared to take an L, which is a lesson. Uh, Black Caesar, going forward, can you develop the LLC course based on a person's level, for example, from novice? Well, that's what the business classes are for. The business classes are going to be like, hey there, are you broke dick, Danny? And it's going to be geared for where people are because I realize that most people are not entrepreneurs. Most people don't have the muscle mindset. Most people are scared to take a chance. They'll buy a lottery ticket before they will start a business and have all kinds of hopes and wishes on that lottery ticket. Grant Barnes, so can you guarantee that if someone puts in 80 hours, they will be successful? Grant Barnes, if you get up and you actually work, and let's define work, no Facebook, no playing around, because a lot of people don't know how to work. But I guarantee you, if you worked 80 hours a week the correct way, you would be successful.
you it would it would be inevitable. But a lot of people don't know how to work. The average person with a job only works four to six hours out of the eight hours they get paid for. If that. Once again, people are looking for guarantees. Like if I do this, and once again, to my men folk, a lot of you don't want to take that L. This is why you see that gorgeous creature in the corner and you will not go talk to her because you don't want to take that L. But if you did that, every time you saw a gorgeous creature in the corner, you would win more than you would lose. But a lot of people don't want to take that L. Houses for sale in Clarksville, Tennessee. I got a story about Clarksville, Tennessee. There's a, a military base up there. I had sold some new furniture to this lady in Clarksville, Tennessee. And I had hired someone, you know, the day before. And he was supposed to go there with me. And it was a Saturday morning. It was cold. And I'm at the warehouse. I am got the furniture loading in the truck. I'm waiting on dude to come. I call him because, you know, I got to get on the road because I got to go to Tennessee. And I hear, tell him I'm sick. And I'm like, tell him he's fired. Got fired before he even came to work. Because he did not want to get out of that warm bed. He did not want to let loose a big booty Betty. He didn't want to let loose that. So he actually lost money because he was comfortable. Because this is one of the things that cracks me up. You got people out here who are broke. Broke, broke, broke. But like, it's the weekend. I got to take the weekend off. I got to relax. Relax from what? You haven't worked. You, you haven't worked as hard as you could. Relax from what? You got folks out here who will let their car get re repossessed before they would go out and get busy on the weekend. Craziness. Uh, there's a lot of people who are still trying to move away from employees and small business side of the four quadrants to the big business owner and investor, as Robert Kiyosaki puts it. Oh, yeah. Everyday people moving over there. Oh, man, P, I am really sorry to hear that. Uh, I, I'll send you, I'll keep you in my prayers. Wow. So, yes, Amanda P., you can go ahead and start the holding company and leave it to your children in case of an untimely demise. And also give them the knowledge and guide them to start something to be of service to their fellow man. That's really sad, Amanda. Wow. And, you know, to use Amanda's unfortunate situation, a lot of y'all are wasting time. You don't know what's going to happen. And you just pussyfooting around. Christine OG, watch one of your videos about holding companies. When registering, you have to register each company separately or do you have to name them under their... That's all in the course. The holding company... You, you, you're going to have to register each one separately. Holding company and operating companies. LP, thank you, G. I sent in my holding company, LLC, and my three LLCs owned by the holding company. The Kung Fu is real and the courses are real. The old YouTube course is super nice. Appreciate that. Mike Rizzi, I don't even relax when I'm hidden in the dab ring or watching movies. Your work is your lifestyle. You know, I'm going to tell you, you know, the, the business classes are going to be geared in action. You're going to have to take action because, you know, like Alex had a point to why that Shopify has become so hard. Because Shopify and ClickFunnels made it easy for anyone to start. So you got 15, 20, you got 100 people selling the same thing to the same people 
using the same click funnels funnel, using the same Facebook ads. And they're seeing their revenues decline because everybody's in the same ring. Let's see, let me show this. We got a lot of advice for Amanda. The hard stuff is good. A barrier to entry. Shopify is horrible and a waste of time. Shopify as a platform is excellent for what it does. The real issue is you've got to get traffic to your Shopify store. And that's usually going to result take uh, pay traffic. And a lot of people don't know how to run traffic. All right, pause and cool whip. Awesome. See, this is one of the things that's going to be in business classes, and it's going to be a discussion on paid traffic. Because once you learn how to run paid traffic, because, you know, I'm having to pace myself and do what I need to do first things first. So first thing first, I get B-School for Hustlers up. Then I got to get, I had to transfer all of that information from the art of holding. And it kind of blew my mind how much, I mean, it was a lot of stuff. I wasn't creating content all day. I was just downloading the video from the Hustlers Kung Fu and re-uploading it and putting it in the appropriate place on the B-School for Hustlers. And I was like, this is like, good Lord. You on fire, dude. So once I get all of that stuff done, because this is work. First of all, you know, this is how I start my day off. I have goals. Start the day off with goals. Then I get busy and I start working on this. This is the power of six. It's a course that's available to you under the, the stream. So I'll, I'll put my six things on it and I'll work on one until it's done. I'll work on two until it's done. Because the thing is, uh, if you haven't noticed, my power of focus has returned. Even before the heart attack, I think it was just, I was just scattered brains. I don't know what happened. But I'm focusing on this and doing one thing um, before I do something else. And then when I get to the paid traffic, I'm going to see a dramatic increase in income. But I got to take care of all of these loose ends and stuff. That's one of the things I got to do. And this is one of the things you're going to have to do in your business, because one of the reasons that the money management course is part of B-School for Hustlers is I'm going to push everyone to go through that. Because. Let me show y'all. Let me see. All right. So I even set it up where there's a three month payment plan, but I've added more to it. Eight steps to never being broke again. Welcome why you need the course, advanced checking protocols, Money habits that will make you financially independent. What is money? And replacing saving money with the real deal of managing money. Accelerated income. So this is going to be, you know, this is why it's part of the bundle. It's because I want you to go through this because I want you to start managing the money that you make right now this is something that i saw over and over in the storage auction business i would get a unit of a uh some kind of owner some business owner and they would just they would leave their records in there and i would see they were making good money but their spending was out of control and what is the point in you going ahead and building this business and developing what i call the thirst. What's the thirst? 
The thirst is with every rapper who only is in the limelight a short time, everyone that plays pro ball for a year or two, you get exposed to the good life. And you get that thirst that will have you doing something strange for some change. And once you develop the thirst, you will be clout chasing and doing all kinds of stuff and getting in trouble. 30 for 30, ESPN 30 for 30 broke. You know, when you look at what happened to these athletes, one year you're on some university living in the dorm, the next year you're a millionaire. And there is nobody in your family who can provide guidance. I'm going to tell you whose family provided him guidance, and you can see it. Russell Wilson. His grandfather was or is still the president of a university. So Russell Wilson had all kinds of people up in his family. He can get on the phone like, hey, you know, could, could you look at my contract, Uncle G? He had all of this stuff. Because, you know, he's trying to buy a baseball team. If they go this, do this expansion, he will be the owner of a baseball team. Can you say generational wealth? He's a young dude. I think he's 29 years old. LP, I was going to sign up for click funnels for my adult coloring books. What are your thoughts of that? Do it. Click funnels for what it does is a great product. My situation was that Stripe did not like my user, they didn't like my URL. Because, I mean, it was three days into it. Oh, we had a few sales, and it's like, we can't support this because you're doing this. I'm like, I'm not doing this. And this is the thing funny. I'm doing the same thing over at B School for Hustlers, and they don't have a problem with that name. Hustle, hustle, hustle. If I can't do it this way, I'm going to do it this way. Education is definitely a must. Mike Grizzly, my business structure is all over the place. Oh, man, they drink the pitcher dry when they get that thirst. Good brand. I already started the Shopify store. It's already making some sales. Congratulations. Uh, Christine OG, I mean the host of businesses. For instance, if I had five businesses under my holding company, operating company bundle. Yeah, you would have to still register each LLC. The devil is in the details of how you organize your LLCs. What's in your articles of organization? Are they listed with detailed structure? On the, well, all right, Christine OG, you determine all of that. And this is one of the problems I think a lot of people have. People are not accustomed to having such a broad choice like when you start a company you become king and queen you can do whatever you want long as you're not breaking the law you can do whatever you want and a lot of people are just are not used to having that type of free reign and license they're just not used to it all right gabran All right, Honey Bunny, she's got some advice for Amanda. You can sell anything with ClickFunnels, Cabran. What's up, Johnny Walden? Cabran, I don't even know why this information isn't taught. James Ford, it's the art of holding you have displayed at $199 a month at 1600 total the same information you just shared with us. I noticed in your presentation, the art of holding price. Well, this is what's going on. 
that's what I priced that. If you, you know, because some people don't want to go through the whole $1,600 for the B school for digital education. You get the same thing if you buy digital education. I don't know if you made that clear because um, that pricing is for the future. So they don't have to mess with it because after, you know, because we've got 13 more days in the year, 14, 14, two weeks after 2019, two weeks. So I'm going to get a lot of stuff done and digital education is going to go up to 2,500. And, you know, as I add and build out to it, it's going to go up and up in 2020. So. Your best deal is to get the digital education for sixteen hundred, or for eighteen payments of nine one or two hundred bucks a month. Pumping numbers. Poor people have an emotional response to money, thinking it's all it's the all money. Very good way of going broke. I'm going to put it in God's hands. I believe in God, but I think God is hands off and it's up to us whether we win, fail or lose socially. Randall, so how do they alleviate the thirst you talked about without going crazy? Randall, education. Education solves a lot of problems because there was this Clemson player who somebody put the bug in his head and dude had three checking accounts and he was on scholarship and dude came out of Clemson with money in the bank. So he's going to be good in the NFL. Points of authority. You got a two comma club award. I just joined ClickFunnels. Give me a moment, please. I joined ClickFunnels three weeks ago. Come on now. And if, you know, if, you know, uh, this is this thing that ClickFunnels does and they verify that you made the money. They verify it. They will check it before they give you an award. And this is for using ClickFunnels to make a million dollars or two million dollars. I made my money before I joined ClickFunnels. So there ain't no two comma award for me. And the two comma award is only if you buy ClickFunnels and make your money through ClickFunnels. So. Uh, I don't think they really care about people. Thank you, Michael Robinson. So we're going to talk about a lot of from foundational stuff. And this is some stuff I did not get into Hustlers Kung Fu. And that was a mistake because with B-School, like the business classes, because they're going to be substantial because it's essentially the education that I got starting my businesses. Hidden unknown, can you explain an S Corp being a holding company? I had an accountant saying S Corp should be an operating company. First of all, we're going to get into all of that with the additional upgrades that will go into the strategic holding company. Like, you know, once again, I got to write this stuff up, but see, an S Corp is for tax purposes. And I don't know what kind of conversation you were having with this accountant. I don't know what was said. So it would be very hard for me to give you a good answer. Because, you know, people were like, like, I was talking to someone and they said X, Y, and Z, but they talked to this person for an hour and they leave out all that information. So I don't know what you were talking about. And knowing me, I would not have an S Corp as the, as the um, operating company. Because when you have a holding company and operating company structure, all your tax benefits flow up through the holding company. So I don't know what you guys were talking about. So one of the things that we're going to be discussing 
is um, why start a business? Because, you know, I know my reasons for starting a business, but I don't know yours. And some people just kind of fall into it. Some people do it intentionally. So we're going to have a lot of discussions about that. Jeremy Scorpio, because it's kind of hard to take advantage of financial literate people. Just saying. Dave Ramsey did a poll of millionaires. And the average millionaire paid their house off in eight years. Going back to Jeremy Scorpio comment, because it's kind of hard to take advantage of financially literate people. These millionaires have done the numbers. They're like, well, I'll be better off paying this house in eight years versus 30. That's 22 years of interest that I'm going to pay on this house. That's crazy once you crunch the numbers. LP, that's funny. Well, that's kind of good brand. That already happens in well-to-do schools. These kids already have investment clubs. Jeremy Scorby, that's why they don't teach it. If your goal was to ring in the top for generations, you wouldn't either. <laughs> Sunflower Power. I would love to start a business of my own. I'm currently a data analyst, but don't want to continue in this field in the next five, 10 years. You, you just got to make a choice. And, you know, because tomorrow I'm going to be sitting down and writing up um, these business classes and what else I need to add to the art of holding bundle. So I, I will write that up and present that because 2020 is going to be a year of teaching. It's going to be a year of putting out information because it, let's just be clear. The sooner you get started is the sooner you get your money. And when I say get started, start with your personal finances. Get that in under control because once you get that under control, then you're not going to have the thirst issue. Because this is where people go crazy. Will Smith was talking about it. Like he spent all his first money. He was broke. Will Smith was talking about he was broke when he started on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Of Bel -Air. He had no money. And he said it was hard. Have, he said it is worse to have money and to be broke than to never have money. Francesca, the Rich Dad, Poor Dad series is better than Dave Ramsey. Don't sleep on Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave got a good plan because this is one of the things that I'm modeling my business model off with the personal finance channel, which I, I'm going to update this week. Because Dave Ramsey's been doing this for a few decades. Same information, same advice. He just, every day, new people discover him. And because America's drunk on credit, more people get in trouble. This is why I urge you, if you don't want to be part of the whole money, the you know, digital education, be sure to get the money management course because this is the root. I never had super bad money habits. I never had a drug addiction. I never was an alcoholic. I never just blew money senselessly. You know, there was always an intent. Like when I got my first credit card, I got when I got a new wardrobe. I just didn't understand how credit worked and I charged out my credit card and between those credit card payments and my car payment and then my insurance and being in the military, I have a lot of money left over after I paid all my bills. And that was a, an awakening.
Elmar Estrella, these principles work out better in countries where the economy is stable and you can plan your life. Yeah, this wouldn't work in Africa, I don't think. Oh, AI is AI and voice. Like, you notice that voice is in everything, like the ring doorbell, you can talk through it. Alexa, Google Home. That's the thing. Malik Vanderpool, you save so much interest by paying off your house early. The peace of mind of no mortgage outweighs the so-called tax benefits of a mortgage deduction. Mark, Malik, if you do the math, you will see that a paid off house is way better than those tax benefits because even if the house is paid off, you still get to depreciate it. You know? Cabran, what do you say about business owners that are still broke? It depends on where they are in their business journey. I'm not going to cast dispersions on business owners who just got started. Most business owners don't increase their income. How does one avoid becoming a poor one? We're going to talk about that in business classes. Because one of the things I was taught was to continue to push to grow the business. And I have a growth mindset. And I continue to push. Even in the storage auction business, I was looking at numbers and I was pushing year after year after year. And our incomes went up every year. So that's a mindset because you got a lot of business owners that will get to a certain point, they'll get comfortable and they'll start coasting. I mean, I had a consult with a dude, they were doing about 3 million a year and he just had, he had like $1.8 million loan that he was paying back. That was taking, sucking up a lot of cash. Then he used to have a business partner that he was buying out so he bought out his business partner and he had to pay him 500000 So, you know, just he, he got to a point where he got real comfortable. You know, he was able to pay cash for cars. He was living where he wanted to live. Well, Garan, you keep listening to this channel. That won't be the case. That will not be the case because... You know, I did a video where I want you guys to make $150,000 a year. And that's going to be the, the push. Single person income, minimum $150 a year, up to $350 a year. Because at that level, that's when my life completely changed. I mean, and I wasn't even as financially literate as I am today. And I started doing things better. Because when I was making that kind of money... I had a car that was paid off. I don't think I even had any credit card debt. I, I think at the time I only had two or three credit cards. And I, I, I used them, but I, I diligently paid them off. Because, I mean, it was easy. Because I, I really, you know, I, I was working a lot. But at that point is which my life really changed. Malik Vanderpool, I like Dave Ramsey, and I'm used to his advice when I was at a certain level in acquired financial discipline, where I'm now using leverage responsibility as a better option for wealth building. Yeah, because, you know, this is one of the things that I teach. You should use your personal credit and your business credit for buying assets that return cash. You should not use your personal credit for a vacation. You shouldn't use your personal credit to buy a car. Like, this is a big, big thing here on YouTube. And if you have a car channel, it makes business sense because the car channel gets you views, the views get you money. But if you're a regular dude out there buying a $108,000 Hellcat with a $1,700 per month car payment and you don't own a house, you're financially irresponsible. Because you took that same money and got you a rental, it'd be putting money in your pocket every month. All right, good man. Jeremy, better pioneering. Mining asteroids and terraforming planets, brother. First trillionaire is going to be Elon Bezos or someone that isn't born yet. 
I would go with the first trillionaire is going to be someone that isn't born yet. LP, effort is a natural part of our physical state, but struggle is effort that's laced with emotion that is unnatural and unhealthy. Mind state is key. You know, many people go into this with the wrong mental. And we're, we're going to have this because one of the things that people don't understand, and this is a hard concept, that let's say your, your business makes a million dollars a year. And the question is how much money, you know, that you, you, you make a million and you can pull a million out. And the question is how much money should you pull out your company? And if you're like, I, I'm going to pull out the million, eh, I'm going to pull out 500,000. Eh. The most you should pull out is 200,000 and you should leave the rest of the money in the company to grow the company. And that's such a hard, because the money's there. It's there. And you just got to pay taxes on it. And that's another reason that you leave the money in the company. Because if you took out that million, you would pay $300,000 in taxes. So you wouldn't even get the full million. You get like $680,000. Now, there would be a time that you would pull that money out. Like say you had a really good year and you wanted to buy a house. You pull that money out. But you wouldn't pull it out every year because this is the thing. I don't pull a bunch of money out of the company because, if you know, for, for me, once again, you have the company, get your transportation, get where you live, pay for all your bills. Um, $3,000 a month is a lot of money when you're not paying rent, car note, credit card bills. $3,000 a month, that's a, lot, that's a grip when you don't have all this, these things coming out of it. All right, Christine OG. Have a monopoly on a resource that nobody knows exists. <laughs> well, the whole thing is, the, where I'm trying to get people is to that $150,000 mark. Because that's a game changer for many, many people. James Mack, if you start a business that will help with downplaying that you're a felon. James Black... If you start a business and you serve people, no one cares if you're a felon. Like, this is funny. Um, the hardcore, the hardcore closer. I forget his real name. Let's see, what is his name? Ryan Stuman. He's a convicted felon. Google. Ryan Stubman, Hardcore Closer, and Google Reviews and see how many people mention that. No one mentions it. He's a hardcore felon, did jail, did jail time. No one mentions it. No one cares. So go ahead, man. Start that business. Get your paper. We're not going to be talking about polygamy. Flash wave. I did paper trading and I went to public school in Brooklyn. You were a different kind of kid, flash wave 2020. Most kids are not trying to do any trading. Uh, James Black. Only thing they're going to look at is your credit score. And this is what's funny. A lot of criminals have really good credit. Like, say you've been locked up seven, 10 years, your credit's pretty much straight. Um, it's just going to be an income situation. You're going to have to get your income together to get some. But if you start a business, James, and your business makes money and you have the appropriate documentation, you have the appropriate credit if you can't pay cash, no one's going to care that you're a felon. No one's going to, no one's going to look into that. And this is one of the powers of being a business owner. When you become a business owner, it doesn't matter what happened in the past. Unless, you know, you were raping children or something. That's going to come back to haunt you.
I don't care what you do. Appliance boot camp. Nowhere on the NC LLC form do they ask if, if you're a felon or, or about your background. You only have to give them a physical location. Pretty much. LP, what's the name of the Facebook group? What Facebook group? So, you know, tomorrow is a, is a very busy, busy day that I will be launching the teachings for the B-School. So we're going to get into a lot of upper level training because one of the things that I see online is a lot of people get information that they can't use because some of this information that they give to you and they'll sell to you as a novice ain't really designed for you. And this is something that I've seen over the course of years, looking at reviews and stuff and looking at who kills a course like uh, Ty Lopez, social media marketing agency. Um, a lot of people got into that. And a lot of people did well with that. Then the market became saturated and it became a challenge to make money to do certain things. So we're going to get into a lot of situations, a lot, a lot of stuff, because it's so like I said, tomorrow I'm writing that up and I'm going to figure out <laughs> I'm going to figure out what I'm going to um, put into the, because the, the LLC course is going to grow. Oh, I have a dominant male group, but I, I'm not really talking about that on this channel. Because just like I'm refreshing everything, I'm getting ready to put some new training in dominant male. Because uh, the, the disruptive male channel is starting to grow again. Because I've been doing something different. Because I've been transferring content from the old disruptive male channel. And then I'm going to start breaking out some new videos once I get that done. Because, um, you know, probably not going to start any Facebook groups. Um... Cause there's really not enough people in B school for hustlers to really start a Facebook group right now. And I'm not going to start one then be trying to, you know, cause I already got two people who helped me with the Facebook groups I already have. All right, LP. Yeah. Cause, um, I'm like, I'm, I've become really more disciplined about keeping stuff on the appropriate channel because, uh, that was one of the problems with this channel. You know, it's just too much content for too many different people. And the YouTube algorithm can't figure out what's going on with this channel. So I'm separating the content and there's, a, you know, some more channels. That I'm going to start in 2020 and get those rocking and rolling. Because this is my job. This is, you know, the YouTube creator. This, this, this is what I do. Well, congratulations, honey. Bunny, that's good to hear. Um, so we're going to get into, I think a lot of people are going to find benefit with how to start a service business because the way that I, because the thing is, I just tell you to get it started and then you can come back and do your corporate structure later because the whole goal is starting service businesses or for people as Honey Bunny will remember because she was a part of that experience when I had Cleaver and Cleaver asked me, Hey, what can I do? I have no money. Um, I'm living with my friend and Cleaver started a service business and came up. So that's a real quick way for you to increase your income and get some more, um, things going on financially in your life.
Cleaver was a great success story. And, you know, I still talk to Cleaver every now and then. And he actually ended up marrying the daughter of his first customer. Well, the niece. Sunflower Power, I'm thinking of starting a service business for retirees. I'm next to a lot of retirement communities. Hey. Because, you know, starting a service business can grow into something big and powerful. However, typically a service business doesn't take as much research like uh, let me go ahead and show y'all whoa like let's let's go ahead and do this uh, all right so go ahead and give you the breakdown of someone starting a business all right, into the gloss. All right, this blog was started by Emily Weiss. And she had this blog for about four years, collecting information. She was gathering data. And she gathered data that was so good, she was able to go to a venture capitalist and leave with a million dollar check to start this company. And they've done, let's see, Glossier. And here's a Glossier, how this 33-year-old turned her beauty blog into a $1 billion brand. So it took her you know, years of research to create this. So, you know, you just don't have those issues or you don't have that process with a service business, like, you know, cleaning houses. You go out and get you some cleaners and you have the right pricing and you're in business and you just got to manage that very well. So that, that course, I think, is going to be helpful because that can be your starter starter business to help you buy back your time so it's very different when you start your business business it's very very different Jeremy Scorpio, I'm going to start a parking lot cleanup service. I'm working on getting out of debt. I'm thinking about 2K debt at the moment. And my credit score is 744. So once I'm seven debt free, I work on my business credit. Jeremy, $2,000 ain't nothing. You should be able to knock that out in a month in my Dave Ramsey voice. Uh, these business services cover all types of areas like custodial service, whatever they are. Which ones are more profitable? Never, ever get into a business because of the money. Hear me and hear me well. If you get into a business because of the money and not because it aligns with your strengths and talents, you're going to hate that business at some point. And what's the point in starting a business that you're going to hate? I mean, would you take a job that sucked ass for $150,000 a year? Some people would. It's like, hey, man, I'm taking the 150. But after a while, it's going to wear on them. Compliance boot camp told me to read the email when I went to his class and it's opened my eyes so much. It helped me understand some of the things you said in your courses. Good deal. Uh, that 125 plan is gone. Let me see what you're looking at. Because that, that, that doesn't be, isn't there. Let's see. No, the, the 199 plan is there. 18 times 199. That's there. 
the 125 I changed that when I added the uh, art of holding and I gave a lot of people a lot of chances to get in before I added anything in there and the people like oh I'll wait I'm a wait man so yeah pause and cool whip it depends do you like that business because here's the thing, and this is why I keep preaching this. Get with a business that you want, that aligns with your strengths and talents and natural proclivities, is you're going to be spending a lot of time on your business. Like, did you hear me when I said I woke up at 730 this morning and it's 10 o'clock. I'm still working. I've been working since 730 this morning. And you see, I'm still happy. I'm not grouchy. I'm not miserable because I like what I do. And, you know, the hours, sometimes I get a little tired. Sometimes I have to take a day off. But I, for the most part, I like what I do. And don't just be starting a business. Uh, Jeremy, I, I don't have time for that. Because see, first of all, look, because look, I've tried that before. I don't know if you were here, but I was giving away 19 free courses. And what happened was 95% of the people didn't even open the course. So, you know, going out and finding four people to like, hey, I'm going to mentor you out of poverty. I'm going to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I, I, I don't have that kind of time. Just don't have that kind of time because, first of all, you've got to have an interview process. And then to get those four, I'm probably going to have to have 20. Kind of going back to Grant's comment about, can you guarantee if I do this, I'm going to have results? And I was like, can you guarantee me you're going to work as hard as you can? So, you know, just because uh, I'm Glenn and Cameron, you're know, hustling godfather, and I find some people, that don't mean that they're going to work as hard as they need to work. Flash wave. I hate when people say, why don't they teach that in school? They didn't. They wasn't paying attention. Solid steps to wealth. None of us have time to mentor. Well, you know, one of the things, too, is there is a demand upon mentoring someone. You got to show up. You got to have a schedule. You got to check on them. You got to. It's a lot of work. And right now, I just don't have that kind of time to throw off into X amount of people who, because people, like, I had a problem getting people to work that I was paying. So this whole mentor thing, you know, in theory, in theory, it sounds good, but in the practical application, it's a lot more work than you, do you think? Saw so steps to wealth. You cannot re raise grown folks, and the mind says something that someone has to change their own. I don't have time. <laughs> uh, Norville Champion, what do you think about myself starting a private security company? Uh, Norville, what do you think about starting a private security company? Is that something that make you happy? You like walking around in a uniform with a big, heavy duty flashlight? Once again, ask yourself is this something I can be married to? And, you know, when you're looking at a business model, say, could I be married to that? You know, because being a security, you're going to be working hours that most people are asleep. All right. You love it. Go ahead and do it. Because, see, once again, when y'all ask me these questions, I don't know you. I don't know what you're good at. I don't know what you're bad at. I don't know your blind spots and deficiencies. I have no clue to what any of that is. So, um, I always seek eldership mentorship has been helpful. So helpful. Well, if you can find it, I'm just not going to go out and find people to mentor because essentially if I was going to do that, I need to create a YouTube show talking about the next hustler. 
Jeremy Scorpio, I'm security. They pay me 14 an hour to sit here and watch Hustlers Kung Fu. You're doing that double time. You're right. I was about to buy Erica's credit repair class from a wife to start a business. I know it's going to have to be involved in it. I don't care two cents about credit repair. See, you know, because what's going to make your business successful is a high degree of enthusiasm for it. And there are some people who love helping people and like cleaning up their credit and they get a little high. They get gassed up off of that. So once again, there are millions of business models. Why are you going to pick one that you really don't care that much about? That makes no sense. None so all. And, you know, if you, you know, because if your wife, you're trying to get this for your wife to start a business and you're going to buy this course and you go like, go have it, go here, do it. And she has no interest in starting a credit repair business. That ain't going to work, man. Honey Bunny, YouTube makes finding a mentor easy. Pick someone and watch enough of their content and then put their knowledge into action in your own life. You don't even have to ever met or spoke to them. True. Senior Coffee Talk, private security is cold and lonely, but profitable. I pass a mansion every morning while I drive my kids to school and they have a private security company sitting out there in front of the house. Hey, they got it like that. I mean, security is a very profitable field once you get into it because you go ahead and create yourself a holding company, an LLC, an operating company, and then you sell your services. And it, it's so funny. Like if you went in as for a job, you get $14 an hour. But if you sold that same slot to a company, you would charge 35 bucks per hour. That's right. The company would be making more than the employee. Extraordinary money. How do you find multiple business ideas? Do you create a business based on passion and demand? You create a business based upon something that you're highly interested in. There was this guy. I'm going to show you this. Let's see. All right. This, this is what high level of determination will get you. I rely a lot on technology. And what matters most to me is how well I'm able to use that technology to be in the outdoors, to live life to its fullest, to be happy. Being able to do what all of my friends do, it's given me this drive and dedication to prove myself. And that's made me such a better person than I would have been without it. it sounds crazy, but I'm thankful for it. I Your business. That's all I'm saying. Don't just get into it because, oh, we can make all kinds of money. Get into it because it's something you want to do. It makes you happy. Like, like I said, I've been working since 730 this morning. And it's 10 o'clock and I'm still going. This is the life of a business owner. The laptop lifestyle, I've had that for a minute. But the reality is that is not typically sustainable. It just isn't. So apparently that, that block thing went away. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is we're going to talk about, you know, what business should you start? Because uh, that's going to probably be a business class because so many people just don't know where to start. They're just like, this looks good. They're starting businesses like they picked their girlfriend. She looked good to me. And then six months later, you find out she's crazy. Same thing with businesses. Six months later, it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. But it's making money. It's giving you a lot better lifestyle than you have with a job. So you're kind of trapped. I don't want you guys to be getting into that situation.
So thankful for VAs, the laptop lifestyle is tiresome. Man, the laptop lifestyle doesn't work for most people. Ron, so that's straight from the chapter, enthusiasm from Think and Grow Rich of Black Shore. You got to have enthusiasm. I've been doing this 10 years. You think I, I mean, if you don't really like it or you don't have it, it's just not going to work long term. And we're not trying to start these short term businesses. Flash 401, what are your thoughts on creating a digital information product like selling an ebook? That was my first business. That was my first pure internet business, selling an ebook. Do it. Jeremy Scorpio, passion drove me to 15 hour days, seven days a week to learn how to bet on sports. The same time spending sales, I'd be a beast. But are you interested in learning that about sales? Because this is one of the reasons that all of these kids do so well with online businesses. They become immersed in it. They watch every video, they listen to every podcast, they get totally immersed. And this is why they're making six figures in six months. Because they're living and breathing this. And that's one of the things you're going to have to do, you know, other than the service business, because you don't have to leave. I mean, you can slap together a service business and make 1500 to 2500 per month pretty quickly without a lot of thought. It just gets harder to make more money. So once again, you know, we're going to have, you know, because I'm going to write up the business classes and stuff and put all that out there and just letting you know where I'm at, because like today was a good day. I went through a lot of, you know, because I haven't, you know, I went through the courses after I created them, but it's been a while since I've been in there and there's some really good stuff in there. There's stuff that, you know, no one who hasn't gone through it can teach you. Marketing is always the tricky part. So we're going to be dealing with marketing and sales. What's up, Shadow, the music artist? So we're going to get into this. Um, there, there's just so many ways to make money. And see, th this is one of the things, because like here online, you hear about Shopify, Amazon FBA. You might be in the position, and you may have the resources where you can start selling flags and make a grip. You may have an uncle that has a fabric company and he can sell you the fabric really cheaply. There, there, there's just so many ways and we're gonna discuss that. Rent them spoons, <laughs> that's funny. But here's the, you know, there was a guy who had his leg cut off and he built his own leg. And he created a company around what he did because there was a lot of people who needed what he was building. I, I mean, prosthetic legs are not cheap. So if he's like builds a leg and says this is for five thousand, they're not going to bat an eye. And he may only have five hundred, six hundred bucks in parts in this leg and make forty five hundred bucks profit. TikTok mouth off. Yes, these teens have a lot of disposable time and income. They immerse themselves in just about. And this is why they're successful because they start swimming in YouTube. They start swimming in TikTok. They start swimming in Shopify. And they're just on it. And remember how much energy you had as a kid? So there's all this energy. There's this high desire and this strong interest. Runs. It's a discovery process. I built one business that worked, but I hated it. I also built two that I love. I have an idea where I now I like them, but I don't know until I get my hands on them. Hidden unknown. They don't have any bills. This is another reason. This is another thing I talked about. They don't have no bills. And they're able to do so many things. They're able to just start some stuff because this is one of the things I started doing is watching these kids and I'm not a hater. I'm a relater. I'm like, okay, this person's only 22 years old. 
they don't have years of experience and they built this million dollar business. How did they do it? And, you know, when you stop being a hater and you go in with a good mindset, you can learn so much. Teens have no responsibilities combined with time. Like I said, you know, they still got people paying all the bills. Brown sense image, and I make family reunion t-shirts. I live in a market where reunions are popular every summer. You know, someone asked me the other day, do they do a lot of family reunions in Atlanta? And I really don't know. I think they do a lot of family reunions in the South. I think that's a thing. But anywho, I will see you savages later. Once again, go to B-School for Hustlers. The 125 is gone. There was a very limited time deal. I, I, I didn't even say I was going to change the price. But now the art of holding is there. So that that's it is what it is. Uh, Jeremy, I was smart enough not to get trapped by car debt and student loans. Plus, I got a woman I can build with, so that helps a lot. What's up, Kevin? All right, so I will see you folks later. Information dropped today. So once again, go to B School for Hustlers and the the new pricing, which will I'm not going to change to the end of the year or the beginning of next year. It's sixteen hundred for the one and done, or one ninety nine for eighteen months for the payment plan. One twenty five deal is gone. You should have jumped on it when I came out. You never know when these prices are going to change, man. So with that, I'll see you guys later.